I think it's probably the most irresponsible budget that I've seen and most unrealistic budget that I've seen. And I doubt very seriously Surprise. whether the Republicans on the, the, the Appropriations Committee or the Authorizing Committee are going to think that it can be accomplished or should be accomplished. It cuts uh, uh, very substantially, as you pointed out, the State Department, which is going to undermine our security around the world. Uh, who says that? Uh, uh, the people at the Pentagon uh, say that. It cuts NIH uh, uh, very substantially. That's health care research to make America uh, more healthy. Uh, so that I think that uh, when you look at all the component parts, it was simply a hatchet job uh, to uh, increase very substantially the defense side of the budget uh, without paying for it uh, and uh, except with these irrational cuts. So I don't really think this is a realistic document uh, and it's not flushed out so we don't know all the specifics but the fact is I th think that it will be essentially dead on arrival. Uh, we, we did hear earlier that even Scott Pruitt at the EPA had asked for additional spending for the EPA, uh, that he does not want to see the 31 percent budget cut that's been proposed. Similar stories from some of the other agencies. But this is also a, an administration that does not yet have all its players in place. So a lot of these things, admittedly, are going to be numbers that are not fleshed out at this point. Well, um, I don't think this is a question so much of having players in place as having a rational policy in place. Uh, I mean, this is just simply not a real document. Uh, it's not a responsible document, uh, and it's not rational to uh, slash domestic spending, particularly when you want to grow the economy. This is going to cost jobs uh, now and in the future. Congressman, uh, this is, yeah. how much of this is an, um, uh, might be described as an anchoring technique in terms of a larger negotiation? Well, it may be that. Uh, what, what you're saying is they don't expect to get this, but this right. is their starting point for exactly. negotiations. I get that. Uh, and, but uh, whether it's a starting point or not, you really ought to have a rational starting point, uh, not an irrational starting point. And I think this is the latter. And I think it's the latter because I think uh, Republicans uh, on the Appropriations Committee who have a responsibility uh, to ad ad adequately fund uh, programs that they think are important for, for America and for the American people, uh, you've already heard them saying that this is just simply not realistic. We can't do this. Uh, so uh, in terms of negotiations, they're not starting at a realistic point, uh, so I think it will be viewed by many as uh, simply a non-starter. When Reagan came in and proposed some pretty steep cuts to government spending as well on the domestic side, uh, while those things started out, while we saw some cuts in programs, by the time he left, most of those programs had uh, grown to above when he started out with things. And, and they said well, it's in large part because of what happens in Congress, that nobody wants to see anything cut in their district or any of the projects that or plans that they really have an interest in themselves. Well, you know, I, I think that's a, uh, that, that probably is correct in some instances. But uh, frankly, uh, spending has pretty, been pretty uh, well uh, contained. Uh, on, the, on the discretionary side, and frankly, it's not the discretionary part of the budgets that's growing, as right. you probably know. Right. The discretionary budget, as part of the uh, overall budget, has been substantially decreased over the last couple of decades. Uh, so uh, to look at and think you can take money out of NIH research, uh, take money out of protecting the environment, take money out of protecting the public health at CDC, uh, and, and you could go through uh, all these law enforcement, uh, transportation. Uh, the, the president says he wants to increase uh, infrastructure, but slashes the Department of Transportation. Uh, so it, it's a somewhat uh, hypocritical and contradictory budget in, in many respects. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.